So it almost doesn't matter if the uh, president is a conservative Republican. I don't, know, I don't know how to characterize Trump, but he's obviously not liberal on anything. So let's say he's a conservative Republican. And let's say Joe uh, Biden uh, is a liberal Democrat. They're both in support of Israel. They're both in support of the uh, genocide. Trump moved the capital of uh, uh, Trump moved the U.S. embassy illegally uh, from uh, Tel Aviv uh, to uh, Jerusalem. Uh, Trump appointed a an ambassador to Israel who was a lobbyist for Israel. I mean, where were we going with uh, with this? How tight is the Israeli grip on the American government? whether the president is a conservative Republican or a liberal Democrat? Well, the grip, the grip is as tight as it is because it works through a, a network of people that we call the neocons, the neoconservatives. Neoconservatives have managed in the last 20 years to entrench themselves in both political parties as the foreign policy experts. Wherever you go, you will find neoconservatives uh, in the think tanks, uh, in senior government positions, and they're all push, pushing for the same sorts of policies, which are basically uh, war all the time, uh, basing this on what they perceive as the national interest for the United States to be the country that sets the rules and enforces the rules. And that's part of the, the thinking. And of course, there there is the Israel factor that uh, much of this started originally in the 1990s, as a way of uh, uh, protecting Israel from criticism, uh, because it was already clear that Israel was never going to allow a Palestinian state, that Israel is not a democracy. But uh, this is this is how it all came came about. Is the United States government corrupt? I would say it's completely corrupt, because what bothers me more than. Uh, what happens at the federal level is this stuff is creeping down to state levels and everything, too. Uh, you have in 35 states right now legislation or rules um, that basically limit what citizens of those states can do if they are uh, if they will not sign a paper saying that they oppose any boycotts of Israel. Boycotts are perfectly legal. All through history, they've been perfectly legal. You choose not to buy a product or you choose not to support something, and uh, they're legal. But in 35 states, they're not that legal anymore.